This video will describe all the icons around the timeline. I've added a background, character, icon, and sound file. There is undo and redo here. Under the track name, you can expand or collapse each track individually or all at once at the top. The eye or show hide track icon can be used to hide or show the track item on the canvas. By default, the eye is on so you can see the item. But if you hide it, the item will not appear on the canvas, nor will it export. This is useful if you add something, but you may not want it to be in the video. Yet you may not want to delete it, so you have the option of bringing it back by turning the eye back on. The lock button causes the item to lock on the canvas. It shows as a hatched, darkened bar. With this, you will not be able to grab the item and accidentally move it. Also, you can choose items around it without grabbing the item itself. When you add the binoculars to the item, this will mark the track, so that if you press the binoculars at the top of the column, the marked tracks will be hidden on the timeline only. This is useful if you have a multitude of tracks and only want to visualize a few at a time. Note that these items can still be found on the canvas and will be exported. Press the binoculars again to visualize all tracks. For items with sound like voiceovers, music, sound effects, and videos, you may press the speaker icon to mute and unmute that track. And you may use the timeline slide bar to see more or less of the timeline. The timeline can be visualized down to 1 30th of a second.